Hi right, guys, um, yeah I thought I'd do an update, it's Boxing Day, just been to the market, got some April, some flowers, she did ask for some carnation ones but they didn't have the plants and I thought these actually look better, so if I'm going to buy flowers, might as well buy some flowers. Um, yeah, a few questions, first one is somebody asked me what I do, I have explained it before but I'll, I'll just go into some quick info. Um, I value contracts and I put forecasts together. What's that actually mean? Um, for example, say you've got a, a school, a hospital, oil refinery, any type of building at all, literally any type of building. I'll work out how much it's going to cost you to maintain that building um, for as long as you like, 25, 30 years, five years, um, but also... I'll put a value on the contract in the sense that is the contract viable in the first place? Because you have multiple things going on. I do apologize, it's about the light, I've got the sun behind me. Um, so for example, day-to-day um, -day maintenance is one thing, but another is actually the, what they call life cycle, which is when you start replacing equipment over a period of time. Well, I value it, put an estimate against each each asset, when it needs to be replaced, what its life expectancy is, what maintenance is required, how maintenance impacts it, um, what engineers are required, all that sort of stuff. Um, not exciting, not tedious. The reason it's not tedious is it's constantly changing and you do get to travel with it. So, although the work seems quite mundane, um, due to the complexities of it, it makes it fun. Well, it does for me anyway, I like, I like numbers. Um, but it also gives you flexibility. Um, in, the last, in the last four weeks, I've been in Manchester, been in Cardiff, been in London multiple times. Um, where else have I been? Yeah, I think that's it at the moment, but I'll be going in Northern Wales when I go back. Um, got another trip into London. Go to some interesting places. If you've watched, seen my Instagram, you'd have seen I was actually at the Google building, uh, headquarters in London, as well as YouTube, because my meeting was actually next door um, in Camden. So the point being is, you do get some interesting places to go to because I deal with buildings and the ones that want to spend the most money are generally the best buildings out there uh, makes sense um, so that's what I do today's market day by the way so it's quite busy this end but as I walk further away it should start getting quieter well that's I do apologize about the lighting because behind me I've um, got a new gimbal as well, so if you like the quality of this, in fact it's not bumping around, I'll share the gimbal as well. It's the first time I've used it, so it is a bit all over the place. Um, yes, yeah, so that's what I do. My update, some people complain that there's not enough stuff going on. When it says update, it's literally an update of what I'm doing. Um, so, if you're expecting stuff from the Philippines, or expecting news, on Spain or whatever, that will be broken down into that. Uh, in the sense that the title will say Spanish NIE, Spanish Immigration, uh, Philippines buying property or something. But an update is literally an update because what some people forget is some of the people on this channel have been following it um, even back to the blog days before the channel even existed, which was 2007 2008. There's a lot of people that actually follow me around with what I get up to. So, it's literally an update. Um, did the kids have a good Christmas? Yes. Um, I've steered away from technology this year, quite simply because I do think they're getting into that rut that it seems to be, I think people call it a millennial thing, where it's bloody sitting on the phone all day. Um, so, I've, I've sort of steered it in the direction of more traditional stuff. I think Ubi got about 10 books of various descriptions. 
Uh, mainly, he has an interest in weeding anyway, but want to reinforce that and keep him in that direction instead of YouTube. What? No, I don't mind people watching YouTube. I just can't see the point of people watching YouTube gaming. Um, it just seems completely counterproductive. There doesn't seem to be any any point of watching it, which is the, the bit I have an issue with. So he does like following YouTube gaming stuff, but it just seems completely pointless and a waste of time to me. Some new flats being built here in the matter. Just on the end there. That's been ongoing now for probably about six months. And they're gonna change this building as well. There's a little little building here on the edge. I don't know if you can see it. That little I can't move my camera, but it's a little one straight in front of me here. Um, they're gonna knock that down and turn that into another load of flats. One of the things with the matter is fairly restrictive on construction, which is one of the reasons I like it. Um, it, do, it only does low rise. It did do some high rise over the back there, but I can't see it having any changes to that in the near future. Um, but also, because of the sand dunes, there's a lot of protected areas here, so it can't expand up and it can't expand down. It's sort of limited now, which is good because um, one thing it does do is c contain property development a little bit and we're looking at a flat at the moment which is going to be about probably about 42 to 50 thousand euros to buy and rent out I've um, already got somebody wanting to move into it and they were, took it to the next size up there's at least six people wanting to move into it um, because now we're sort of geared up to sell here long term that's one thing we're certainly looking at doing it's making a life here um, I don't think it's going to be that critical on the Brexit because predominantly it's Spanish here anyway um, we do get Brits, Dutch Norwegians etc uh, Finnish what else do we get? a lot of Scandies but at the same time Brit wise is not a big majority here uh, we get people from Bilbao, Madrid, Barcelona. Um, so even with the Brexit looming, um, it's not really going to have that much of an impact where we are. Uh, even with Benidorm, they've had a bit of a shift towards Spanish tourism as well. So they're already preempting it. It's sad that the Brexit thing is actually happening the way it is because it's everybody's throwing crap at each other, but nobody actually turned around and say, right, what's the solution? Who's got a solution to this problem? How are we going to fix this? No, we're just mudslinging each other because um, nobody has a straightforward answer and nobody's putting forward a straightforward case. Instead, it's much easier to just slate the other people. That's why I'll step back from it. Quite simply, unless somebody actually comes up with common sense, I don't want to hear it. Uh, but, yeah, we'll continue to develop things here. There's another flat available on here I'm going to have a look at as well. Somebody mentioned somebody was buying it then they had to pull out because they couldn't afford it um, so might, that might be an option as well so, yeah we're, we're rooting ourselves in Spain that's for sure what about work well work itself um, because most of my stuff is project based anyway I can come and go uh, so for example now I'm here for the Christmas um, I'm not due back in the UK till the second week of January. Um, but at the same time... Hey, I didn't see you. Oh, yeah. Sorry to bother No, I didn't see you there. It's okay. I was, I was coming out as you were walking by. Uh, right. Please. Have a good Christmas. Or do you, are you uh, Three Kings? Pardon? Are you Three Kings or are you Christmas? Do you celebrate the Christmas or Three know. Kings? I, I guess three kings <laughs> since Christmas. Is... How are you, young man? I'm good. Good to see you. I, I saw April, your children. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. Does she, the children come by taxi? Yeah, because uh, my son was ill in the morning, so she yeah, took him to school in a taxi. Like, yeah, there's no buses here. So. Yeah. Anyway, 
my apologies. That's all right, Juan. Well, maybe we can get together sometime. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to meet up again. All right. Yeah, Take sure. have a good three kings. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. The three wise men. That's a friend of mine, Juan. Um, yeah, um, so things are, things are moving quite well. And as you can see, people are quite friendly here. Um, we've got quite a lot of friends in the area. So for us, we're not moving anywhere. And there was somebody spreading rumors about me moving to the UK. Um, my family are rooted here. If I try to move my wife and kids from here, I'll probably end up in a divorce. <laughs> There's a joke, by the way. But no, my wife and kids are happy here. Uh, who wouldn't be? We're we're literally on the doorstep of the beach. Got a um, nature reserve here. Got lots of tourist attractions in the area. Good school. Um, lots of sports facilities. Cheap cost of living. Um, there's no downside. I'm going to try and get um, a friend of mine to come on and talk about his move to Spain because he's Spanish but from the Philippines. Um, because he can give you an update on his side because obviously we've moved here now this this is year four uh they're just going through that transition of getting here um he's had a few issues nothing major but at the same time it would be worth to actually just get an update from him um it was good to meet up with a, a friend up in madrid as well it, madrid seems a lot more friendly towards immigration by the way i think we're just lucky on the coast here that they can be quite awkward just for the sake of being awkward um, but hey ho, welcome to Spain. You've got to accept it as it is because you ain't going to change it. Thanks for watching.